Greetings from the CM Russell Museum. I'm Brianne Lauren. I'm our Director of Development here at the Russell Museum. And since we're working from home and practicing social distancing, uh, we decided to take a little tour and visit Charlie. Uh, Charlie is in the Highland Cemetery just south of Great Falls. And um, last week on the 19th would have been his 156th birthday, if I did my math right. So we thought we'd come and say hi to Charlie and Nancy and a few of their other friends. So behind me you can see uh, this is Charlie's grave site. Uh, as you know, or you may know, he was brought here by um, a horse carriage. He did not want an automobile bringing him to his resting place. Next to Charlie, Nancy is laid. It's a beautiful morning here in Great Falls, so we'll go ahead and show you a couple other friends that are around here with him. This really is kind of a special area here um, at the cemetery with Russell, uh, like I mentioned, we have Nancy, but right next to Nancy and Charlie, we have um, Albert and Margaret Trigg. They were the neighbors of Charlie and Nancy and very, very good friends with them. Um, their daughter, Josephine, who uh, really is the reason we have a museum today, um, she gifted her collection of her personal collection of Charlie um, of all of Charlie's arts and art and letters. And so she lays just behind his headstone. Here's Charlie. Uh, Josephine lays right here by him. And then very um, aptly right behind are Fred and Ginger Renner. Also on our tour, you'll see that we have O.C. Seltzer. He's also out here with Charlie and all of those, um, everybody else that keeps good company with Charlie. So on this morning that we're visiting Charlie um, and sharing with you today, I want to read a little excerpt from um, John Tolliver's book, Charles M. Russell, uh, regarding his funeral procession. The procession, procession from the church to Highland Cemetery was signature Russell. Charlie had let it be known that he did not want to be carried to his grave in a skunk wagon, quote, but by 1926, there were no more horse-drawn hearses to be found in Great Falls. One had to be brought up from Cascade and a pair of black horses were fitted to harness. To drive the hearse, Nancy chose Ed Vance, a friend with years of stagecoach, stagecoach experience. Charlie Beale, one of Charlie's newest friends, rode behind the hearse, leading a riderless horse that wore Charlie's saddle and bridle. As an added flourish, Charlie's six Charlie's Colt six guns and holsters were strapped behind the cantle. Horace Brewster, Charlie's old roundup boss, rode alongside Beale. Completing the cortege was a long line of automobiles at the front of which were Nancy and Jack in the chauffeured Lincoln. Highland Cemetery is located on a gentle rise two miles south of the city. Will Rogers had wired money and directions for a graveside flower arrangement shaped like a saddle. And when the mourners raised their heads from prayer, they gazed across a rolling prairie, golden brown, according to the season. In the distance, east and south, they could make out the timbered Highwood and Little Belt Mountains, two guardians of Charlie's Judith Basin. It's a little foggy today, but still beautiful, and you can see the mountains in the background. Thanks for joining us on our visit with Charlie today. Uh, hopefully it was kind of fun to see where he's laid to rest and stay well, um, keep your social distance, and we hope to see lots of you uh, online, and but hopefully in the galleries very soon.